Ready position really comes into play when you're beginning to rise the ball, be it a jab lift or a roll lift. So my hands are here like this, I have identified my hurl hand, which in my case is my right hand, and then my ball hand, which in my case again is my left hand. Now, if you're a katog, obviously it's vice versa. Your left hand will be your hurl hand, your right hand will be your ball hand, okay? What we're watching out for on a right-handed hurler, left foot forward beside the ball, right hand on the handle with the thumb out for balance, left hand down near the boss like this for balance as well. So thumbs out and you're down, scooping from behind and a catch. Now, notice the way I'm catching the ball. When I scoop the ball, I'm not catching this way. I don't want to do a claw catch in case I drop it. I want to do a cup catch. So my hand moves from under the hurl to under the ball, okay? So again, from this angle, you'll see the hurl is flat. It's not at an angle, it's flat. My left foot forward, my left hand under the boss, my right hand at the handle, and I'm scooping from under and catching the ball here. The roll lift is the exact same, except you're rolling back, rolling forward. Now, one more time, again, you're flat, pressure on the ball, push down, roll back, roll forward, and catch, same grip and catch again, okay? What you're trying to avoid, two little bad habits you're trying to avoid is, number one, when a child is scooping the ball, they take an extra tap. That cut out so that it just comes directly from the hurled hand, there's no extra tap, okay? Another one to watch out for is that their ball hand is on the, is on the handle and that they end up crossing like that, okay? The hurl hand should remain on the handle at all times, the ball hand down beside the boss, down here, and you rise and catch. The hand moves from here to there. There should be no crossing from the handle to the ball, okay? So again, a few pointers stuck out for when you're out in the garden,